All right, what's going on, people? All right, I probably look a little different. I had a bad experience when I had a flare-up. My flare-up from January, the last two months, my flare-up was like surge. I couldn't eat. I discovered that uh, food-grade hydrogen peroxide I had 3%. So I started doing that. I was like, okay, I'm feeling bad. I'm going to fast and do the hydrogen peroxide at the same time. This should knock this out. No, didn't do it. I would drink water and I would shit the water out. I wouldn't piss it out. So I, it, it was bad. Same time, my liver was hurting. My kidneys was hurting. I was like, what's next? I was going to try the, uh, the weed oil. I couldn't even. It was like, you got to go through this paperwork. You got to go sign this up. Dude, I was, I was waking up in so much pain and just no energy. I didn't feel like trying to find a doctor. So I finally went to my mom's house. I had my kids with me and I was just like, uh, let me use your juicer. And that's how I was getting my water. I mean, my, my actual, just trying to replenish myself. I was very dehydrated. My body looked emaciated. My mom didn't say anything about it. Who my dad saying it, he was like, the fuck? He was like, he got mad and he was like, you need to eat meat, you need to do this. Yeah, I don't like the way you look. I'm surprised that I, my mom didn't say anything. Something just clicked in my head, because I've seen it before. They said that bottled water triggers Crohn's disease. So, at my mom's house, I thought about that, and I was like, let me look it up. King of Water popped up, and a lot of people with these uh, testimonials came up, and we were like, yeah, after this amount of time, this was a week, I felt like this. After a month, I felt like that. This was gone, that was gone. After a year, all the symptoms were gone. Everything was gone. So I was like, okay. And... Then I started looking up the machines. The machines were expensive. I found a, a water bottle, H2 Life. Yeah, I got this from Amazon. And it, it, it does its job. This water promotes healing. You get a cut, it heals it super fast. So after I got rid of all my symptoms, within a week, my symptoms were like, so my ankles were swollen like very, very bad. Three weeks. It's finally, the swelling went down. I'm walking again, like with no pain. I was walking before this Tylenol, but no pain. The arthritis in my hands, I can finally make fists, tight fists. I couldn't do, I couldn't even open up bottles and jars because it was that bad. But if you don't know about this water, man, you need to get hip. Ionized water, if you have Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, IBD, any IBD, diabetes, lupus, it helps with almost everything. If your body is so alkaline and the HP levels are right, viruses can't really live in your body too long, or at all for that matter. So once I figured this out, I was like, ah. Oh. So now I'm this whole travel to Africa, I'm very confident about it. I feel like I went to the Remicade place and got my little infusion. That's how good I feel. Uh, I mean, I'm at the point, man, I always used to wake up and cry because I was like, I don't, I don't want to get up today. I don't want to deal with this pain today. And I would moan and groan and bitch and cry. I didn't cry tears. It was just more of a sob, like, no, I, I don't want to deal with this right now. Uh, I'm just so lucky that I found this, that I actually thought about the water. And it's sad that something as simple as water can stop your pain. You don't have to go cut your insides out and just to deal with this. It, it got rid of the fissure fast. The bleeding fast. Got rid of everything Yes, it was, I, I couldn't believe it. So I'm gonna end this, man. I've spoken enough, but I and I ask water. Change your water, change your life. That's basically what they say, and it is so true. So true. I'm loving life again, and I didn't think I could do this without modern medicine, Western medicine. After everything that I've been through, I wish I would have found this when I was at like 150, 160. If I would have found this thing and knew about this, I wouldn't have to go through trying to get myself back together. 
I would have been at a perfect weight for that I wanted, cops, and I would have been good. But I see I had to go through this. I had to go down to, now I got to build myself back up. But I said I wanted to be 2% body fat. Now I got what I fucking wished for. I didn't want it to happen like this, but it happened. So now I'm just working out now, getting everything. I'm working on my left side. My left side is obviously smaller than my right side. So I'm tearing my left side up, trying to catch up. Uh, all I can say is try the water. Hopefully it changed your life like it changed mine. All my pain is starting to go away. And it's like some things that I thought I had permanent damage. You know, it just takes a little more time for the water to, to loosen and lubricate that thing up and get it right. So get with it. I'm telling you, I feel good. I feel good. That was the first flare up. Like my initial finding the water. After that, like at least two weeks after that, two or three weeks after that, I'm eating, I'm gaining weight, I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. Then I start testing limits, see how much I can take. I started forgetting that, hey, you're just testing this, like it was these uh, meatballs, these fake meat meatballs. I was like, let me try them. Tried them, never went back to them again. Didn't go back to them for a while. I went to them again, like later on. Like at least like a week or two later, because I didn't have no recipe ideas. And uh, so I got them again, and then I then it, it just wiped out my head. I got them again, I got them again. And then I started eating regular meat, and I had a, somebody had a barbecue. Mistake, bad mistake. It took its toll. So I started crashing again, like at least two months after I found out, I found the water. So I crashed again, went to a spiral. I was drinking the water and nothing was happening. What the? These people in Virginia, man, y'all can't drive. Oh, so he from Texas. So, once I got a handle on bottle maintenance, very important. I'm eating quinoa and fish, and I'm like, dog, I'm not getting better. I can eat these foods. Man, it was hard. I, I had to, one day I just looked back, like the other day, I just looked back. Mind you, I'm not that far out of my last flare up. I'm eating the foods that I can eat in remission, and didn't know that I'm not supposed to eat them when I'm in a flare up. I figured that out, I'm starting to come back now. This is the point I'm at right now. You don't eat these certain foods while you're on the flare-up. You can go back to them when you're, um, well. It's now I'm trying to get over the arthritis part of it. And uh, it's coming along. It takes normally about two, three weeks to get rid of the arthritis part. It's been a hard journey, but a learning experience. I know what to do now. I know how to do everything. I'm good to go. I had to go through this. I guess I had to go through this. So I know in flare-up, I know what to eat. When I'm not in flare-up, I know what to eat. I know to maintain my bottles. Everything would be all right. Yesterday, after my meal, I ate. It was beautiful, man. It was like, I felt so good. I haven't felt that good in so long. Like I was zenfully blessed or something. That's how good I felt. I just sat there and just basking in the glory of feeling good, finally. Stomach went all crazy and it just felt good. So soon I should be getting my neck back. It's been a journey, man. I learned a lot and I learned how to fix myself. That's the best part. The, gratif uh, the gratification of learning how to fix yourself, priceless. I don't have to depend on nobody. I don't have to worry about medicines and all that craziness. So yeah, taking everything step by step, one day at a time, just chilling. Make sure I eat, 
that's been my one thing is to make sure I eat. If I don't eat, man, I ain't gonna gain this weight back. That's what I'm trying to get to. But anyways, let me get back on, man. I'm about to hit the highway. What? Full concentration. I gotta think about what I'm about to go to the store and buy and eat. Cause I'm hungry. Your boy gotta eat. So I'll get back to y'all.